of metabolic problems is ketosis, and that's to do with the build-up of ketone bodies as fat is broken down in the cow. Now, the reason the cow is breaking down fat is that she hasn't got enough energy to supply her. She's losing energy by making milk, often in a large amount, but she hasn't got enough energy coming in. Now, that could be a primary thing, physically not getting enough food in the mouth, or due to another problem, a disease or another underlying issue. What we need to treat that cow with is some dextrose, given in the vein to supplement her energy levels. And we supplement with propylene glycol, which is an oral solution, 200 mils twice a day down the mouth, which the cow converts from propylene glycol into propionate, a volatile fatty acid readily absorbed through the rumen, which goes into the blood supply to increase her energy levels. So another problem we can have is low blood glucose, which leads to ketosis. Ketosis uh, is a breakdown product of the fat that they, cows release as they're producing. So what we use in these animals is the dextrose. You don't need more than one bag per cow. If you give more than one bag, you tend to saturate her blood and all she ends up doing is passing it through the kidneys and out. So another site we can use, this, is a, this solution needs to go into the vein. So another site we can use is the milk vein. And we've got a great example on this cow just here. Um, you can see it following along here. And it's the same idea. You're using your needle to go into this vein. You've got to be careful when you finish so you don't get a hematoma. Also be careful, these back legs, even though she's down, she can swing and hit you in the face. That's why I'm standing at this side of the cow. Last thing you want to do is catch one of those in the face. I mean, you can come around a little bit, but still be careful. Um, you've probably seen a cow in the paddock scratching her nose with the back feet. If that's the case, it shows how far they can reach forward with those legs. Remember, you're doing something painful sticking this through the skin. So aim it, there's the vein here, it's standing up, trying to push it under the skin, and look at that nice flow of blood there. Another site we can use. So if you can't get the, both neck, um, jugular veins, there's always this one down here if you drop the cow on its side. And in I go. Okay. This one uh, can go in as fast as you like. It doesn't really cause a problem. So that's fly flowing in nicely there. Um, be careful you don't lean on the cow's ribs. She's got to use these to breathe, remember? They've got to go in and out. Um, so you've seen the, the jugular vein, you've seen this milk vein. These are things that farmers can do. These are things that vets can do. If you've given a bag of calcium, a pink bag in the vein, the cow most cows will get up in about half an hour. If you just give them a gentle nudge in the ribs, they'll be enough to stand. That'll be enough calcium to stand. If they don't stand after one hour, that's when I usually get hip lifters or a hoist, a sling, some other means to try and assist them in standing. About 80% of cows will be standing up within two hours anyway. So I'm running in this uh, glucose solution, the dextrose solution into the vein, give her some energy to replace what she can't make up for because she's producing so much. Hand in hand with this is another uh, drug we use called Ketol, which you give orally. So we give about 200 mils twice a day to the cow that's down with ketosis to aid her to get the energy level she needs to be able to stand up again. Quite often these cows, if they're down before calving with ketosis, it's called pregnancy toxemia, and it's to do with them carrying a couple of twins inside. Now the twi twins are taking so much energy away from the cow that she hasn't got enough to do the normal functions for herself. These twins are basically like parasites, taking the glucose that she would normally use. So we're fishing up our bag of dextrose here. It's all going in the vein. Um, it's important to get this in the vein rather than under the skin. It doesn't get absorbed under the skin. It tends to sit there. And you'll see, uh, if you put it under one of these sites, like the, over the ribs or on the neck, what you see is it tends to migrate downhill over the day and end up just pooling under the skin down here, uh, not getting absorbed and having no effect on the cow. So it's important we get it in the vein. We're coming to the end of this bag, this uh, dextrose solution for her. I talked earlier about how important the milk vein is, that we don't want to damage it. We don't want to get what's called a hematoma or a big blood clot around it. So um, as we pull up, we'll put up some pressure on to hold that off so it doesn't bleed anymore under the skin. We're just running in that last bit now. Here comes our airline, so we can watch it coming down. Squeezing that last bit in. Pull out the needle and hold it off. And we'll just hold that for about 20 or 30 seconds. So it's enough to stop it clotting. Good gold.